unlike in the West where we have an appetizer and entree, Japanese meals tend to be a collection of smaller dishes called kobachi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a refreshing Japanese side called sunomono, so stick around! Welcome back to No Recipes! I'm Mark Matsumoto and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals, so smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Sunomono just means vinegar dish in Japanese, but it usually refers to a light salad made with cucumbers and wakame. And sometimes it can be topped with cooked seafood like octopus, crab, or shrimp. It's a super simple dish that comes together in a matter of minutes. But there's a few tricks that you need to know to get the cucumbers to turn out right. So let's get started. Our ingredients for the salad are cucumbers, salt, wakame, rice vinegar, sugar, and a bit more salt for the dressing. I've also prepped some cooked seafood to use as a topping, along with some toasted sesame seeds to garnish the sunomono. I'm using some salted wakame for the sunomono, so to prep it, I just rinse off the excess salt and let it rehydrate in clean water for about 5 minutes. Dried wakame can also be rinsed and rehydrated, but the time is gonna vary depending on the thickness of the seaweed. Be sure you're using wakame and not cookie wakame, which are the tough stems and need to be prepared differently. Okay, while we're waiting for that to rehydrate, let's go ahead and slice up the cucumber. You want them to be about a sixteenth of an inch or one and a half millimeters thick. I'm using Japanese cucumbers, but any thin-skinned variety of cucumber with small seeds, such as Lebanese or small English cucumbers will work fine. To save time, I usually cheat and use a mandolin to slice my cucumbers. Just be sure to watch the tips of your fingers. Trust me, I've made this mistake before and it's not pretty. Now we just need to add a generous pinch of salt to the cucumbers and mix it in. This draws out the extra water from the cukes by osmosis and turns their texture from crisp to crunchy. Let's let this sit for a few minutes and check on the wakame. Once rehydrated, the wakame should look like thin frilly sheets of paper. This is looking perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a squeeze to drain off any excess water. If your wakame comes in long strands like mine, you'll want to chop it up. Just untangle and line up the sheets, and then you can cut it up into bite-sized pieces like this. For the dressing, I'm just going to add the salt, sugar, and rice vinegar to a bowl and whisk that together until the salt and sugar are completely dissolved. Checking back in on the cukes, it looks like they've started to sweat, so let's speed things up a bit by giving them a massage. You should be able to grab handfuls of cucumbers and give them a good squeeze without breaking them into pieces. If they start cracking in half, stop and let them sweat a little bit longer. The goal is to massage the cucumbers until they turn translucent. This means they've released all their excess water. Okay, these are looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and use my hands to squeeze out all that water we've massaged out of them. Now I'm just going to add these to the dressing along with the wakame. And then we're just going to stir that all together so the flavors get a chance to get friendly. It's worth noting that cucumbers are kind of essential for sunomono, but wakame is not. So if you can't find it or you don't like it, you can just add more cucumber instead. Okay, let's go ahead and plate up our sunomono in a nice bowl. Presentation is a big part of Japanese cuisine, and the plateware often reflects the season that you're in. That's why I like having a big collection of beautiful bowls I can use to fit the mood. I'm going to go ahead and top this one with some boiled shrimp. Now I'm just going to garnish that with a sprinkle of toasted sesame seeds, and we're done! That's looking pretty good if I do say so myself, but let's see what it looks like with some octopus. And maybe some crab while we're at it. 
The dressing strikes the perfect balance of tangy, savory, and sweet. And the cucumbers take on a thunderous crunch thanks to the salting and squeezing. As for the toppings, these are the most standard. But I think there's some room to get creative here, adding other flavorful proteins such as shredded chicken breast or edamame. Sunomono is a delicious tangy side dish that's a great counterpoint for savory things like grilled fish. So I hope you'll give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by giving this a big thumbs up. And if you have friends that are into Japanese food, I'd be super grateful if you could share this video with them. As always, thank you so much for watching to the end. And if you're new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell. All right, I'm gonna go pile a bunch of seafood on this tsunomono and call it lunch, but I'll catch you in the next one. Check us out on Instagram at NoRecipes.